Hey everyone, welcome to your stimulus update for August 5th, today Wednesday. A little bit different here. I'm obviously not able to be inside and there's a reason for that. We just had that tropical storm come through my area of New York yesterday and we have trees down all over the place. I'm actually outside in my property right now, but I just wanted to update you guys quickly, especially after yesterday's video. If you did not see my video from yesterday, go ahead and click on it. I'm gonna to try to get the link in the description, although again, doing it this way is gonna be a little bit difficult, but you can search for it. The, right now, the Democrats have a little bit of a problem because it looks like they're not negotiating with Republicans. And this is legitimate. This is not like a make pretend talking point from GOP leaders. We have Nancy Pelosi who confirmed this with her own statement that we are willing to take nothing less than $3.4 trillion, which is their HEROES Act. And so what happened is Chuck Schumer came out yesterday and he had his own press conference. I wanted to do a video yesterday, but I couldn't because our power shut off. But what I want to tell you is, is I looked carefully at that press conference and I was waiting for him to talk about how they're willing to negotiate and they're willing to compromise. And you know what? He said nothing about that. If anything, all he said is we're coming closer together, but they were coming closer together to what the HEROES Act said. And he said over and over again, we've been explaining to Mark Meadows and Steven Mnuchin why we need this amount of money. And we've been drawing closer together on five or six issues, basically five or six issues that Steven Mnuchin and Mark Meadows are agreeing with the HEROES Act on. But there's no agreement on the end of the Democrats in negotiating away from some of the higher prices that they want on certain things. And this is going to become a problem for the Democrats. Public opinion switches very fast in the United States of America. At one moment, we will take a look at one party and say, what are you guys doing? You waited two months to start negotiations and the public opinion will be against them. And then very quickly, we will take a look at another party who looks like they are stalling, not negotiating, hardlining on what they want and only what they want and not offering real compromise and negotiation with the other side. And unfortunately, that is what the Democrats are doing right now. I've given it hard to the Republicans when I thought that they were wrong. I've told you when I think that they should have done extra things in the stimulus bill for the American people. I've told you when I'm not happy with what Donald Trump is saying he wants to do. And I'm going to do it with the other side as well. I'm going to tell you the truth. I, if you're a Democrat and you don't want to hear anything bad about the Democrat Party, you're in the wrong channel. If they're doing something incorrect, I'm going to let you know. So what they need to do going forward right now is they need to go to honest negotiations where they are honestly compromising, giving up some some of their points, some of their stuff, and then accepting some of the Republican stuff. And the Republicans need to come in honestly as well and give up their things as well so that they can get a bill passed for the American people. You guys know this is it. This is the last week before the Senate goes on recess. In my opinion, if they cannot get a bill passed right now, I think that the Republican Senate is going to go on recess, but they're going to continue to send Mark Meadows and Steven Mnuchin into negotiations with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. And if they can ever get something done, then the Senate is going to come back on emergency session and they're going to pass the bill immediately. So I think they're going to keep Mark Meadows and Steven Mnuchin going day after day, but the Senate is probably going to go on recess. So don't think if they just go on recess that it's over. It's not. The Republicans already have a plan to continue the negotiations, but I don't think they're going to just pass the HEROES Act. And it looks like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are only responding with pass the HEROES Act. And I don't just say this because it's a Republican talking point. I say this because Nancy Pelosi said it from her own mouth. And that's a disappointment to me right now. And it should be a disappointment to you no matter which side of the aisle you stand on. We need people in leadership who are willing to compromise and negotiate. You can't always get everything you want but you need to pass the right thing for the American people at the right time. And we need to get something done. We need a two to $2.2 trillion bill. We need to get stimulus payments to the American people. We need unemployment to continue at around four to $600. We need more money for small businesses. Our state and local governments need help. We need help for the hospitals, more research money, money for the schools. That's about a $2 trillion bill we need right now. That'll bring us to the election and we'll figure out what to do next. We need leaders who can compromise and figure that out. Right now, the Democrats are on the wrong end of this and they need to get their act together. So hopefully Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer will be coming out with statements later today or tomorrow saying, listen, we are willing to negotiate. It's been coming out that we're not because of her own statement and GOP leadership confirming it. 
but we are willing to negotiate. We will in fact do that. We wanna to come to the table and compromise on something that will work out. So this is my stimulus update for you guys today. Unedited version because I'm here at the house with limbs all over the ground. If you guys can see there's little, little branches all over the ground here and unfortunately, where I live, there is just thousands of people without power. We've been out without power for almost almost 24 hours now. So hopefully I'll be able to keep you guys updated, maybe like this for another day. But I appreciate you guys coming along with me, no matter how I'm able to get these videos out to you. You guys are awesome. And as always, if you like this sort of video, this style, consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you come along with me. As always, I will catch you next time.